afternoon to Wave News at 6 tonight. I'm John Bowl. And I'm Myra Sorry, The bus union tells us that they felt some of the routes were logistically impossible to execute. So the big question is, why were their concerns not addressed? Wave News reporter Brandon Spencer sat down with the union reps to get some answers to this. He joins us live in our team coverage tonight. Well, John Myra, bus drivers are just frustrated. They feel they're taking the brunt of the backlash for a busing system that they didn't even approve of. And now the bus union says that if this is not addressed, then the problems will just get worse. Problems are expected during the first day of school, but families couldn't predict their child might not get home until 9.58 at night. Bus drivers saw some warning signs that a huge issue could be coming. There's no way they can make the stops at the times they got them at and spread them that far. You can't drive from one end of town to the other, then come back and then try to pick up where you left off because once you're late, you're late for the rest of your route. You can't make it up because you got kids on a bus, so you can't speed. And uh, so those are the things that cause most of the problem. The result? Kids getting home hours later than expected. Other students say they were at the bus compounds for more than three hours. Teamsters Local 783 President John Stovall says drivers were given seven days to prepare for a system that should have taken a month to prepare for. Well, with this new system in place now, it's like being behind somebody goes 20 miles an hour, and you're used to that, and you're kind of cool with that. Then all of a sudden, it's 100 miles an hour, and you had no time to prepare for that. And that's kind of what this new system is. Stovall says he understands the district had to make changes, and they invested a lot into it but he feels the concerns of the drivers weren't addressed. As simple as it is, they know what needs to be done and not, and they can tell you, hey, that's not going to work. But unfortunately, sometimes people choose to, you know, a computer or artificial intelligence is always smarter, but in a case like this, it's not. JCPS promised to make immediate changes, but some are questioning if a year's worth of work and planning can be fixed in four days. Stovall says he hopes so, or else they'll have to add hiring drivers to the list of their concerns. If they don't make a quick decision on how to correct this, it's only going to get worse and time's not going to be their ally. They can't wait three or four months. They got to make a decision right now. This program's not working. We need to change something in that program. And if it means delaying school, which I may upset some parents or some students over this, they may have to do that. Stovall says some drivers have already quit. It's not clear how many more will, but he, Stovall says that some drivers, as much as few as a dozen drivers, have already left their position since this new system was introduced. Reporting live in Louisville, Brandon Spencer, Wave News.